today I want to explain the fact family triangle. You will be seeing a lot of the fact family triangles coming up. So today I just want to go over the different parts of it and how to use it. Down here at the bottom, you have two numbers and these two numbers add together to make the sum at the top of the triangle. The reason there's a dot there at the top of the triangle is because that is showing you that that's the top and that the biggest number in the fact family goes there. So the two, three, and five are all in a fact family together. That means we can come up with four number sentences that go with those numbers. And the plus and the minus in the middle just shows that we can do addition and subtraction with all three of these numbers. So I'm gonna show you how we can fill in four number sentences for just that triangle. I always like to start with the smallest number and that out of all these numbers is two and we can add the two bottom numbers together to make the top number. We don't actually have to think about any math when we have this kind of triangle because all the numbers are there for us. So two plus three is equal to five. So two plus three equals our sum or our biggest number up at the top. Then underneath we do the turnaround fact, which is when we switch the two add ends or we switch those two numbers. And I'm gonna go the other way. Three plus two also equals five up at the top. Ooh, now I see that we have some minuses. So we need to do some subtraction problems. When we're doing subtraction with the fact family, we always start with the biggest number. And I'm gonna go this way. Five minus two equals three. And then I have one more subtraction problem to do. So since I already did five minus two equals three, I'm gonna go the other way. Five minus three equals two. So there we have that. It's very simple when we have the triangle in front of us, we just need to come up with all the different ways. I'm gonna do it again here with this fact family triangle. We have the numbers one, five, and six. The two numbers at the bottom are the smaller numbers and we can add those to get our sum or our biggest number at the top and that's six. So I like to start with my smallest number when I'm writing mine, just to keep it organized. So one plus five equals six. Now I'm gonna start with the other one and do the turn around facts. I'm gonna turn around these two numbers or switch them. Five plus one also equals six. Now here I see our minuses. We need to do subtraction. And when we do subtraction, we always start with the biggest number and that is six. And I'm gonna go this way. Six minus one equals five. Since I already did six minus one, now I go the other way. Six minus five equals one. And that is how you use a fact family triangle.